Hello guys, this is Brad Wood. Today I'm going to show you some cool features on the bleeding edge of Command Box. We'll be releasing these soon in Command Box 3.7. We've made a couple nice changes to running tests to make them easier to run from the CLI and have less verbose output um, and the ability to watch tests and run them on the fly as you change files. I'll start with an empty directory here so you guys can play around at the same time I am. Let's go ahead and throw a Coldbox application in with Coldbox Create App. And then I'll install Testbox Bleeding Edge. And let's start up the server. Okay, here we go. Now we can run the test from the web browser by typing in test slash runner.cfm in the URL. In here we see some nice passing tests. We can also run these from the command line by doing package set testbox.runner equals, and we'll paste in that URL we get from the browser. This allows us to do the testbox run command, and we can run those tests straight from the CLI. Now this is the first improvement we've done is streamline the output of the CLI command. There used to be a lot more white space in here. We've condensed the uh, totals, pass, failed, errored down to one nice little table and got rid of all the white space. We'll even let you get this even simpler um, by doing package set testbox dot verbose equals false. And now when we do our test box run, it's down to just the bare minimum. We are only showing tests that are failing. As of right now, there are no failing tests. So you just get this nice little uh, pretty green box. Let's jump over and um, edit one of our tests. Okay, so if I open up one of these specs, let's go ahead and make it fail. I'll say expect true to be false. That'll fail into any day of the week. If I save this and I rerun test box run, you can see the output is now red and it's showing the one spec that's failing. So the second thing we can do now is we can couple this with our new test box watch command. Test box watch command will run until you stop it with control C and it'll watch by default all the CFC files in your entire web root and anytime you edit a file it'll automatically rerun the test. So if I come in here and I comment out our failing line, hit control S to save, you see down below the console automatically runs and we have that nice concise output so we don't have to worry about it running off the screen. If I put our failing line back in, hit control S to resave, our tests rerun and now they fail again. So this gives you the ability to get instant feedback on your unit test while you're editing your code without having to go back and have a auto reload browser plugin or alt tabbing over and rerun on a command line. And it's nice and concise enough that it fits uh, cleanly inside of your IDE. Whenever we're finished running our tests, let's make them pass before we stop. I can come back down to the CLI and just hit control C and now it'll stop watching my files for changes. So that's it. This will be coming out in the 3.7 release or you can grab the snapshot um, of command box and just to show you that um, to get the URL for the snapshot you can do upgrade dash dash latest and that command will show you the URL to download the snapshot. Alright guys, have a great day.